What if I told you that a guy who dropped 50 on Dr. J never played in the NBA? Growing up in Harlem, Joe Hammond played in the streets in New York City. After attending Taft High School in the Bronx, he dropped out in ninth grade because he hated school. Because he wasn't on the high school team, he showcased his talents in the Harlem Summer League, such as the Rucker Tournament, which featured college All-Americans and NBA players. Hammond is most remembered for his performance in the 1970 Rucker League Championship game, where he dropped 50 points in the second half against Dr. J and won MVP. Because of his dominant play, he was nicknamed the Destroyer. He was a star and would score 40 to 50 points a game while showcasing his athleticism, dunking ability, and pinpoint shooting. In 1971, the 6'3 Hammond was taken fifth overall by the Lakers in the NBA's hardship draft, which was a draft for underclassmen. But despite receiving this opportunity and offers to join the ABA, he declined. The main reason for this decision was that he was making significantly more money from selling drugs in the streets of New York City than he would have made from signing a professional contract, but this cost him dearly. Because of his drug dealing activities, he was sent to jail twice, all of his possessions were sold, and he lost all his money. So how good would Joe Hammond have been if he played in the NBA?